How many AC units would it take to cool the entire state of Texas? <laughs> All right, as a nuclear engineer from Texas, first off, you'd never want to cool the entire state. Deserts, oil fields, and half of West Texas that already cools itself by doing absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, Texas covers over 250,000 square miles. But area alone doesn't determine cooling demand. What matters is air mass. So you're trying to lower the enthalpy of billions of tons of air, not just chill a floor plan. In the summer, temperatures often climb over 100 degrees. As I know all too well, but the real problem is the heat load. With air at 100 degrees, ground and infrastructure are gonna store massive thermal energy. You're not just cooling air, you're fighting heat radiating off of every road, roof, and refinery. To drop it by just 10 degrees, you would need over 10 billion AC units. <laughs> So a typical residential's about 10 kilowatts of heat, so 10 billion scales to about 100 terawatts. Now, if you use the specific heat of air and Texas atmospheric mass, you would need on the order of 10 to the 2017 power joules, which isn't 10 billion AC units, that's planetary scale refrigeration. Lasting all at once. That's 27 times the number of units currently in the U.S. But they move heat. They don't destroy it. All that waste heat's just going right back into the environment. Suck up 36 terawatts of power, more than the entire planet can produce. So total electrical is about three to four terawatts, but you could theoretically run that heat load with about four billion gigawatt nuclear reactors, but by that point you've built an artificial sun belt, not an HVAC system. That amount of energy use would create ozone and pump greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. If you relied on fossil fuels, but if you used advanced nuclear, you'd have near zero emissions. Rather than cooling Texas, you would actually be overheating the entire planet. With that waste heat, yes, the second law of thermodynamics always wins. But you could technically pull it off with a Dyson Sphere's worth of nuclear reactors.